What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. For those of you who are new, I'm an eBay seller. I got a 16,000 square foot warehouse and I sell so much stuff on eBay. I also own an auction company and do other things, but today is an eBay day. I've got a pallet of electronics recycling here. This is all stuff that the public has sent off to be recycled, electronics at least, and the recycling company has sold it to me so it can be reused and gone, go back into the uh, stream of use. Uh, back to the consumer. Um, I have not paid for this yet. Our agreement is I only pay for the stuff that I want. Everything else I send back to them. I pay a total of 80 cents per pound for however much I get. This is 1,120 pounds of merchandise. I estimate I will probably end up taking about half that. Uh, some of it is going to be damaged or just undesirable. So we're going to go through this and I'm going to show you every single item in here. We are going to completely unbox this pallet. I've got my tripod here. Let's see what we find. So we'll start by doing a walk around. These boxes are gonna have good stuff in them. Uh, they always do. And then over here, we've got VCRs, stereo receivers, stuff like that. I mean, these things, if they work, I get about a hundred bucks each for them. They don't always work though. A lot of them actually don't work. Um, even just regular VCRs, I get 25 to 50 bucks each, sometimes as much as a hundred, depending on the model. Over here, that looks like a good one. Oh, that's a Sharp. I'm not familiar with that one, but it is a DVD recorder, so I bet this one's expensive if it works. Um, let's see, any that I'm super familiar with? There's a bunch here that I've sold, but nothing. You know, there are a couple of Magnavox ones that I know will be sold as soon as I list them, and I don't, at this point, see any. So we're going to go through and see what is in here. Um, I'm excited to go through these. I'm less excited for that, even though those are more profitable. These are more fun. So let's start digging. Now you're actually gonna see a lot of this stuff. I need a box cutter. One second. Haha. -ha. Now you're actually gonna see a lot of the merchandise we pull off of here on another video in the near future. I'm gonna do like a competition video to see two different ways to list on eBay, which one is faster. There's a very good chance the video will be like five or six hours long because I'm gonna be trying to list like 40 items in real time, but I will probably, if it is super long like that, I will do a condensed version. All right, well, let's just see what's on top here. By the way, the bins go back to them. I don't get to keep those. Um, so that kind of stinks, but that was part of our deal. So right on top here, that is tangled up. A lot of the cords get tangled up on this stuff. All right, we've got a Yamaha sound bar. Sometimes these can be decent on eBay. Um, I will set this one aside. And we will list that, we'll look it up for eBay. We've got another sound bar here. This one is a Sony. Also possible, probably unlikely for both of these. Um, it is like Bose is the big brand for those. In fact, I think I just sold one for like 150 bucks somewhat recently. All right, right here we've got this is a Go Video, which isn't a super desirable brand, but it's a VCR DVD combo. Um, I might be able to get 25 bucks local, or I should get at least 25 bucks for this if it works. I've got a guy who has a booth at an antique mall who sells these. He pays me 25 bucks each. Um, if it's not worth putting on eBay, at least. I think he sells them for 40. All right, next on top, we've got, this is a Koss boombox. You know, I can usually auction these off and get like five bucks for them, but based on the weight, I'm not paying 80 cents a pound for this, so I'm gonna send this back. Next, is this one still tangled up? I can just unplug the cord. We've got another boom box. This one's a Sony. I'm gonna set this aside to look it up on eBay. Sometimes these Sony boom boxes can get a little pricey. Again, I'm not gonna hold my breath on it, but it's very possible. All right, now let's start cutting this. Stretch wrap, and we've got, let's go through one of the boxes first. All right, this one has a little bit of weight to it. Let me get a cart over here so we have a table and then you can see it as I open it. All right, we got, oh, that's heavy. Let me tilt you down a little bit. Let's see what is in box number one. Okay, we've got some stuff here. These keyboards, I've never sold an orange one. The blue one I sell from time to time. Uh, it is for a Mac. 
I don't know what this is though. This normally isn't part of it. Um, oh, and this is a weird mouse. I bet these will do well on eBay. I'm gonna put these in the eBay pile. I couldn't tell you how much. I wanna say I sold it for like 50 bucks, The just the keyboard. We've got another keyboard here. This is, might be mechanical. I'm not familiar with the brand um, and a mouse. I am going to send these back. We've got a Sony boombox here. This has the cassette. Yeah, there we go. Cassette, CD player. I bet this is at least 40 bucks on eBay. We'll throw that into the eBay pile. All right, ooh, I see some good stuff there. Let's get this big thing out. This is a sewing machine, I think. Let's get you over here. I usually don't do all that well with sewing machines. Uh, Neki, I'm not familiar with the brand. I'm actually gonna look this up. Sometimes sewing machines can be really expensive. I am not holding my breath on this one though. So let's pull up eBay. N-E-C-C-I is the brand. And let's see if I can find a model or something on here. Uh, 537FA, 537FA, and we'll go to Solds. Looks like some parts are selling. You know what? The pedal is selling. 537, so this sold for 95 bucks, but free shipping. The pedal sold for about 20 to 25. Here's another one that sold for 93. I think we're gonna put this on eBay. It's gonna be expensive to ship, but it won't be a huge pain. What I'll probably do is like $50 plus calculated shipping. That way I don't get screwed if it goes to like Puerto Rico or something. But uh, we'll set that aside. And it's probably like 20 pounds. So my cost is, was 80% of 20. 16, I think, $16. All right, what else do we have? Let's go back over here. There's one more large item in here. So let's get this out. This is a VCR, it is GE, uh, not a valuable one, but if it works, that's another one that's 25 bucks that I can get for it. Then we got a bunch of little stuff. This is, I bet this is a shaver. It is a shaver. You know, this thing is less than a pound. I can probably get a few bucks for it in the auction. So we'll put that in a vintage auction. We've got a calculator. This is just, I think the 30 X. Yeah, 30 X. These aren't very valuable. I'll send that back. We've got a trail cam, stealth cam. Uh, is it digital? I found these that were actually filmed before. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's digital. So we'll put this, there's even an SD card with it. This will be an eBay item. We've got this thing. These are not super valuable. If it were new, maybe, but since it is used, I'm gonna pass. I've got a Garmin. This seems like a newer one, so it might have some value, but with Garmin's, I get these you know, 80 cents a pound. So this thing is probably like cost me a quarter. I will just hang on to these and box them up. And when I've got a big box of them, I'll list them on eBay. Uh, so we've got a Canon digital camera. I've been selling a bunch of these cameras lately. I bet I get 30 to 50 bucks for that. We've got a Nikon camera, and this one is actually a nicer one. Um, this is, let's see if I can, where's the battery go? This slide open. This might not have a removable battery. It doesn't turn on. Why don't I see a spot for the battery? That's where you plug it in. I don't think I've ever seen a uh, like brand name camera with a sealed internal battery, but I think that's the case here. Um, but this, the S02 is the brand. It seems like a newer one. I bet that's a touch screen. I bet this is a hundred bucks. So we will set that aside. Now we've got, um, this is for a Sony, no, a Casio. I think a digital camera, it's a dock. I would imagine this is probably 15 or 20 bucks on eBay. We've got, ooh, oh, it's broken. 
Um, so this is a tape recorder. These can be between $50 and $100, but it, it does have some damage here. Uh, let's, how do I eject the tape? Stop button does, oh, it just pulls open. There we go. Uh, so it seems like that could just be cosmetic, that damage. We will test it. I'm not sure this is worth anything for parts. Uh, batteries are a little corroded, but not too bad. I'm not sure this is worth anything for parts, but if it works in this condition, I bet I'm looking at 25 bucks. Uh, oh, we got a micro cassette recorder too. Again, 50 to $100 is common for the Sony ones. Batteries are in there, they are not corroded. Sounds like it works. Let's, uh, let's record. Testing for the Resale Rabbit YouTube channel. This is the Sony micro cassette recorder. And we will, let's see, rewind. Maybe I rewound it too far. Testing for the Resale Rabbit YouTube channel. This is the Sony micro cassette recorder. So this works. It even has good batteries in it. Um, this, I'll look it up for you right now. I bet this is $59.99. That's the Sony M447. We'll look it up together. Sony M, I don't think I've ever sold this model. Um, and it is selling for, we wanna see sold items. Uh, wow, cheaper than I thought. 30 bucks plus five shipping, $27.95 free shipping. And $39.99 plus seven shipping. Still, I'll probably list this for $39.99 free shipping. My cost is probably a nickel. All right, what else do we have? This is this is a Nikon charger, probably for that paint camera we just pulled out. This is a GE. I don't think I've ever seen a GE digital camera. Just runs on double A's. I bet still 20 bucks, 25 maybe. Um, then we've got this, which is, I don't see any branding on it. Uh, so it's a little radio. Um, usually there's like a brand name on it. I'm going to say it's probably not worth anything, but I'm gonna put it in the eBay pile. We'll look it up later. And lastly, you get a Casio camera. This one, uh, no charger but it does have the battery i do have a back stock of chargers so maybe i've got one that'll fit again probably 30 to 50 dollars although some of those cameras can really surprise you i just sold an old sony one for 120 or 150 i think they're 150 or 120 and i sold a nikon actually no i can't show you because that's the phone that my ebay so ebay app is on um that, it's logged in uh, but a Nikon camera, um, just a regular, nothing special about it. No battery, no charger. It did work. I was able to test it with the battery from another camera. I just sold it for a hundred bucks. It, it was listed for less than two hours, probably. So that is this. I am going to put the rejects back in this box. <clears throat> we'll put this down here. And then I'm going to set these two items aside, I guess down here for alternative sales methods. All right, we got one box here. Oh boy. This one's heavy. Okay, it's not as heavy. It was, must have been caught on something. There's a cord. This is actually for that Sony boom box that I grabbed. I had to unplug it. All right, so we'll go through this box and then we'll start on the VCRs and stuff because you know, I'll bring this back up so you can see it. I don't want to go through all of the boxes and then just have this all collapse on me. So start with this box right here. And in it is, oh, I see some video game stuff. This is probably a record player. I'm going to guess this is a Victrola or Crosley record player. Crosley is the brand. Not super valuable on eBay. This is probably like between 60 and 100 brand new in the store but I could probably auction this and get 20 bucks for it. All right, so video games. We've got an Xbox 360 wired controller right here. Not super valuable, but it's good to pair with a system when I get them. 
<clears throat> I've also got, uh, actually, no, this is Afterglow. An Xbox 360 wired off-brand controller. Again, good to pair with the system. We got a Wii Fit board. I get about 20 bucks plus shipping on these. Uh, not super exciting, but something. Uh, ooh, I see some good stuff. I don't know what to grab first. What is this? This is a joystick for something. It feels pretty fancy. Axis is the brand. It's the T8311. If you're curious, I'm not going to look it up right now. I'm just going to put this on the eBay pile. It does not look like it needs a power cord. It's just got a USB, so it must just be powered over USB. Um, and there is actually a website where you can test those. All right, we've got another GPS. This is an older one. This one's going to be thrown into the bin of GPS. And the other one I will look up before I toss it in there. Uh, what is this? Linksys. So this is some sort of Wi-Fi um, routers, maybe. Yeah, it looks like maybe routers. Um, they're pretty yellowed, but I'm gonna, they have the cords, I'm gonna put them in the eBay pile to look up later. Then we've got two Ego batteries. I would say, well, I mean, the light comes on. I would have assumed that they don't work, but the light does come on. Um, I don't have any Ego stuff to test them, so I'll probably see if I can, I'll have to Google to see if I can put a multimeter or something on there. Because if these are working, oh, I gotta duck down for you to see. If these are working, these are probably 50 to 100 bucks each. If they're not working, I would probably sell them as a set for about 30 bucks. All right, we've got a, is this brand new? This is brand new, a battery maintainer. They're not super expensive. I'm gonna put it in the eBay pile, but it may just end up in the auction, in which case it will be, you know, 15, 20 bucks in the auction. We've got a cord for something, K-Tech. I'm gonna set this aside in case it goes to anything that I need. And then we've got an Xbox 360. This is the slim model, it's got the power cord. We already saw there were two remotes for it. Let's see what we've got for a hard drive. No hard drive, so it's a standard four gig system. Um, these I can usually get about 50 bucks for them. Uh, so I will pair the controller and the cores uh, with it. And then there was something else, a couple things on the bottom. Ooh, a breakaway cable. I needed one of these for something I listed the other day. Is one of these missing? The off-brand one was missing the breakaway cable. Actually, both are missing the breakaway cable. So I don't know what I'll do with those. I'm probably not gonna buy one, but I've got a steering wheel set for Xbox listed that's like a hundred bucks, but it's missing this. So I will definitely save that. And then we've got a Frontier router. Aris is the brand. Let's see if this goes here. It fits. Don't just make sure it fits. Actually check the voltage. Uh, the voltage needed is, let's see, 12 volt, two and a half amp. And this is 12 volt, two and a half amp. So I actually haven't seen this particular modem before. So we're gonna put it on eBay. It might be worth something. So that is going to be it for this box. I will flip you back up here. Uh, let's grab this. I'll just put some random stuff in it. That's not actually going on eBay, but needs a place. All right. Now, let's go through some of these VCRs. Or I say VCRs, but it's all sorts of just bigger stuff. So right off the top, can you see me? Yeah, you can see me over here. We've got this guy. This is um, Iowa, I think that's pronounced. Uh, this is a tape deck. So we'll see if that's worth anything. It seems like it's in pretty nice shape. I've got a Sansui VCR, probably on the $25 pile. We've got... This is a Philips CD player. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and assume that is not worth anything. We've got an Onkyo tuner amp. We'll look it up. I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. I don't know a lot about audio stuff like this. This is just from my very limited experience. So I may be throwing back good stuff for keeping junk. All right, we've got a Toshiba, hold on. 
Toshiba VCR DVD combo. If this works, this is a hundred bucks all day long. When I say if it works, I would say maybe about one out of three are working when I get them from this supplier. So I'm not holding my breath until I tested it. We got a Phillips. This one's probably closer to 50, maybe 70, if it works. Uh, what is this thing? Virtual Pilot Pro. Is that what's in the box? Yeah. I'm gonna look this up. I have no clue on this and I'm very curious. Virtual Pilot, I'm spelling Pilot wrong, Pro. And this thing is listed for 70, sold for, uh, are there pedals with it? There are no, there's a listing for the pedals. It looks like this did not include the pedals. Uh, 22 bucks plus 16 shipping, 15 plus 15 shipping, 40 bucks free shipping. Um, so it's not super heavy. I think I will hang on to it. Whether or not it goes on eBay or the auction, I'm undecided. So we'll set this um, or I'll just throw it right through the bottom of the table. All right. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here's the pedals. Uh, so let's go back to that and see what the set is selling for. Uh, 30 plus 40 shipping, 31.96 plus 20 shipping, 39.96 plus 20 shipping. So not amazingly better, but decent. Uh, I'm gonna just walk this around and set it on top of that one. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get rich off of it. I think it's probably worth listing though. What else do we have here? This, the cords always get so tangled up here. All right, this is an RCA VCR. I can tell you right now, this is not worth anything. It'll be one of those, if it works, $15 for the person with the booth. We've got a Symphonic VCR, same thing. I guess I can show you what these look like. Symphonic VCR, about 15 bucks, or 25 bucks, I mean. Um, and then, We've got tangled cords again. This is a good one. Whenever you see these Panasonic VCRs, they've got the blue line across. This one is the PV8451. There are a few different models of them. They're good. They are in the $100 range and the remotes are pretty interchangeable. So I always have Panasonic remotes if it works that I can include with it, that helps push it to that number for me. These are, if you see the blue line, buy it. All right, what do we got next? Uh, we'll start the next little stack here. This is a Sony uh, VCR. Usually Sony VCRs are pretty expensive. This one, what is this? It looks like a tray. Oh no, it opens up. This one I've actually never seen before. It's older. Um, I am going to assume it's probably not worth anything, but I'm not going to make that assumption yet. Um, I will look it up. But again, it needs to be tested. And if it works, it's 25 bucks. I wanna say he sells them for 40 or 50. This has something sliding around in it. Uh, it is, how do I open this? Oh, it's screwed down. Um, so it's something, digital signal delay, D1103. I'm very curious, I wanna look this up right now because I haven't seen anything like this. It, TOA is the brand, TOA. D1103, is that what I said? Uh, D1103. And, well they're listed pretty high. Any sold? None sold. Uh, one's listed for 76, one's listed for 120, and one's listed for, actually that's a different model. So two of them listed, uh, one for 76 free shipping, one for 120 plus shipping. I think I will hang on to this. Um, I wouldn't even know how to test it. And there's no solds on eBay, so I'm not, I'm thinking probably auction with this. Uh, so I will put that 
down there. What do we have next? We've got a Sony tape deck. I know I've sold these decently before. You know, 50 bucks or so plus shipping. This one looks heavy. All right. This is a Sony amp receiver. That is probably going to be, I don't know, actually. I usually don't sell these on eBay because I can't fully test it and I don't want to deal with the return on it. I could fully test it if I wasn't lazy, but I'd have to hook up speakers and everything. I'm on a waiting list for the booth in that antique mall and I feel like I can get 20 to 50 bucks for those all day long selling them there. But I, they said it's like a three year wait. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm just kind of stacking those up if they look decent. I see another Sony item here. This is a DVD changer. Sounds like it's broken though. It could just be a disc floating around in there. Um, but I'm gonna pass on this just because it seems like a pain and I just don't wanna deal with it. It's also heavy. All right, next we've got more tangled up cords. Let me cut some of this plastic over here. All right, this is an integrated amplifier. TOA, TOA. Usually these aren't worth anything, so I'm about to reject it. But I'd like to look it up just to be safe. This is BG1015. BG1015. And it is selling for, one moment please, uh, $12. Uh, although this one's $44.99, this one's $39.99, this one's $50, although it's open box. You know what? Let's put this on eBay. I'll list it for $49.99 free shipping. The new one that's $50, they are charging like $40 bucks shipping. All right, next, we've got a Sharp. This is the one that I showed you, the DVD recorder. I bet this is some money, but it needs to work. And then we've got right here an Allegro. Usually I can't get anything for these brands, for this brand. Um, but 25 bucks, if it works. I do need to sit down and test all of these, but if I get in the zone, I could test all of these in a few hours. We've got a JVC VCR. Now I'm rejecting this. Comment below if you know why I'm rejecting this. Why, what about this JVC VCR is causing me to reject it? Got your ideas? I want to see comments. And I can see the timestamp on when you comment, so don't try and say that after I tell you why, go in and comment. Um, it's missing the power button. So this one is broken. So I'm not even gonna bother. All right, what is next? We've got a Toshiba VCR. This is, these can be hit or miss. I bet this one's 60 bucks. Silver ones can be, I don't know why, a little bit more desirable. We've got right here, tangled up. A JVC uh, receiver. Again, don't know anything about receivers, but we'll hang on to it for now. Yeah, we're like halfway down on these, all of these things, the big things. Maybe we'll just keep going and do them all. All right, here we've got Orion VCR, $25 all day long, if it works. I think because, because the boxes are the most fun, why don't we knock all of these out and then we'll do all the boxes. Let's do that. So we can, do all because every time I finish a box, I want to go to the next box, but I don't want to be left with all these at the end because they're less fun. All right, let's see what we got next. We've got a Sensui combo unit. 
This is again going to be one of the lower value ones that may just end up being the $25. Send it away. We've got right here Samsung. I bet everything in my pocket, this doesn't work. It has been years, years since I found a Samsung DVD VCR combo that worked. I think I'm like 0 for 40. They never work. Samsung is junk. All right, we've got a Sony stereo here. Um, I think I might actually keep this. We've got a stereo here in the building that we use for playing music during the sale. And it's kind of on its last leg. This does not have speakers, but uh, it can replace the whatever brand I have. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this for now. It's not worth anything. If I had the speakers with it, it might be. Sometimes those can get really, I've sold those as much as 300 bucks with the speakers, all different brands. Um, but without the speakers, it's not complete. I don't even bother. That's not to say there aren't speakers on this pallet somewhere that go to it. Uh, we've got a Sony receiver. My cart here is starting to get full. We've got a JVC VCR. This one does have a power button. What else we got? A case for a Panasonic camcorder. So camcorders can be valuable. I'm not going to open it. If they are the like full-size VHS camcorder, practically worthless. But the little tapes, the mini DV, the VHS C, the eight millimeter, these can be valuable. And this is the full size. Now that said, I can get this out. I will hang on to this. It is the battery charger, AC adapter. This may still have some value. The camcorder, not so much. And I don't feel a lot of shame in doing that because it's gonna get recycled after this, after I send it back. So at least I'm saving some of it. All right, now we've got, ooh, this is an oldie, a Kmart eight track player. Um, I feel like that could have a little bit of value. Oh, I already see something. So this is all that I see. I already recognize this as a Toshiba VCR DVD combo. And what do you know, that's what it is. And it's the recorder, um, right? This is the, yes. This is about two to $300 if it works. This is a really good one. I've sold it a whole bunch of times. The remote alone is between 50 and $80 used. It would be awesome if I found the remote in this box, one of these boxes. There is something massive on the bottom of this pile. I might not be able to lift. Gold Star VCR, this is gonna be a $25 special. We've got a speaker, subwoofer. Definitive technology. I am unfamiliar with the brand, but, uh, hold on, the cord might be damaged. No, we're fine. I just sold one that I actually got from one of these pallets. I don't even remember what the brand was, for like 250 bucks. So let's look up Definitive Technology. And the model is somewhere on here. I don't see a model number. Why don't I see a model number? Let's just look up D Definitive Technology subwoofer. And we will do sold. And this one's 146, that one's 105, 100, 149. Weird there is no model number on here though. So I'll have to do a little bit of research. Power field subwoofer. That, yeah, no model. But this is going to be an eBay item because they seem to be all selling for 100 or more. All right, next, we've got I always check the cords. Sometimes these, I don't always, I try to always check. Sometimes these get damaged. 
in the recycling process. A Sony DVD player, which normally isn't worth anything, but I've never seen one like this before. Uh, let's see, DAV S300. DAV usually means like speaker sound system. So maybe this is part of a surround sound. DAV S300. Uh, looks like listed for about 40. Sold. $45.99, $39.99 plus 28 shipping. $87.12, that one includes the remote. Uh, a lot of listings for just the remote. Some with all the speakers. $45.76, $26.08 plus 57 shipping. So this seems to be decent on eBay. So we'll throw that on the to be tested for eBay pile. All right, this thing. Holy crap. This is an old VCR. Look at this thing. It's a top loader. I mean, the VCR loads into the top here. I have no idea. I've sold Betamax players that looked like this, never a VCR. Um, let's look it up. It's, it's very heavy though. RCA Selecta, Selectivision VCR. And sold items for parts 58 for free shipping though that's gonna be expensive to ship uh, here's a working one for a hundred and five dollars plus 30 shipping uh, I didn't look up the model I just looked up the type yeah I mean it seems like I can get if it works about a hundred bucks if it doesn't work about 50 I don't want this for, to sell this for 50 though. If it doesn't work, I'm sending it back. Oh, that's a heavy one. All right, I think we're still kind of stable. You should see this cart. All right, what do we have next? This is a Symphonic five disc CD changer. We're sending that back, we don't want that. This is an old timer. A Ampex, um, this is 8-track system. Is this a, that is. So, Ampex 8-track player. A lot of this vintage stuff makes more sense just to run through the auction. Alright, next we've got a JVC VCR DVD combo. We've got the Magnavox VCR. Magnavox is usually solid for resale value. This one is a sharp VCR, but it is really beat up. This is like dust or something, but the top is all messed up. I'm gonna send that one back. Uh, almost guaranteed not working. There we go. Magnavox VCR DVD combo DVD recorder. This is Oh, like 200 bucks or so. I really hope that doesn't all come collapsing down when I move it. All right, next. We've got a sharp VCR. We've got another sharp VCR. Don't cut yourself, these are sharp. We've got a Samsung, just a DVD player. I reject these, those aren't worth anything. Here we've got another Allegro combo unit. Once again, that'll probably be a $25 special. We've got another Sharp VCR. I bet those came out of a school. This thing is, here we go. Sony Betamax player. I bet that's at least a hundred bucks. At least. And we go, oh boy. Another Sony Betamax player. This one's a little bit older. <laughs> I'll show you this in a minute. Uh, we're almost done with this side of the pallet. Uh, Phillips. Home theater DVD player that's going to be rejected. We've got 
a Yamaha receiver. And one more item that I don't know if I can lift. It looks really heavy. Oh. I'm gonna bring the camera over there. So this thing, for reference, there were two stacks of VCRs or receivers on here. I don't know what it is. Uh, it is, it was installed on 10, 15, 21. Uh, probably a high school biomedical equipment school. That's not that old. Uh, let's look this up. 9PX 6K. 650 plus 327 shipping. That one's new or, yeah, new. This is 1800. 1200. Oh, it's a UPS. So battery, basically, battery backup. Um, I think I'm just going to auction this off. This thing is probably really heavy. I bet, I bet this is over 50 pounds at least. I wouldn't say I struggled to lift it, but it was enough where I didn't want to lift it. Um, so that means if this is 50 pounds, my cost on this is 40 bucks. But if they're going for that much, I bet this will sell for some decent money in the auction. There's absolutely no way I'm selling this on eBay. Maybe if it was like seven grand, and then I'll probably just put it on a pallet and ship it freight. All right, so I got through that. We've got six boxes left, but also look at this cart. This is as tall as me. I'm three inches taller than this. So I'm gonna move this to the back very carefully. It looks like something from Dr. Seuss. All right, so I'm gonna get these out of the way. We're sending these back. And we'll go through these last boxes, these six boxes here. This is what I'm excited about. This is where the fun stuff hides. Seems like I'm not sending a lot back, but I promise you at least half, maybe two thirds of these will be defective and be getting sent back. All right. Let's see what's next. Oh, I can't reach you. There we go. Now, this box, oh, more VCRs. This one's not as exciting. Um, so I do not want to stack any more on there. So I'm going to create separate stacks. They are all tangled up. There we go. This is another sharp. I'm just going to make a stack over here. A little off camera because I don't want to stack more on there. Uh, we've got an RCA. This one looks like it has a tape stuck in it. I'm still going to test it though because they may have just unplugged it as the tape was coming out. But it probably does not work. Next, we've got... This is a Sony tape deck. Like I said, those can be decent. Nothing amazing, but decent nonetheless. I hope the other boxes aren't all like this though. I like the small stuff. Ah, uh, we've got an Orion VCR. Looks like someone had it listed for two bucks in their garage sale. I bet it didn't sell, and so they just recycled it. Um, and then we've got another Sharp. We got a nice little stack of those. All right. Now the non-VCR stuff. We've got an Intellivision. These, it's been a long time since I've sold one of these, so I really don't know what they go for anymore. But I bet they do all right. And what is this? I think this is just garbage. It's got a Q-tip in it. I don't think that's anything. All right, that's it for this box. That was kind of a boring one. Let's go on to the next box. Ooh, all right. Well, right on top, we've got, ooh, this is pile, uh, rack mount, UHF PLL, whatever that means. Oh, professional wireless receiver for like wireless mics. I bet this is worth something. I'll throw that over here. Uh, then we've got a DeWalt circular saw. This is 18 volt, we'll auction this. We've got a rigid circular saw. We will auction this. We've got a whole bunch of these. Uh, these are docking stations for uh, like laptops. 
Um, let's pull this big thing out first. This is, it looks like a computer, but I don't think, data card. So data card reader or duplicator maybe. It might be some money. And then, uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five of these docks. And then these ThinkPad docks, I've got three of them. Uh, worst case, I can sell them in a lot. Um, I don't know what these go for, these HP ones, maybe. I mean, they're newer, they've got an HDMI cord. Maybe I can get 20, 50 bucks. I have no idea what these are worth, but I bet if they're not worth much, they're at least worth putting together in a lot. Uh, this one came apart from the battery, it looks like. How does this go back together? There we go. A Motorola radio. Uh, these like professional radios, I can usually get a good amount of money. I bet this is 40 bucks. And then we've got an Apple TV with the remote, probably also about 40 bucks. And that is it for this box. All right, the last of the yellow covered boxes. The other ones are the foot tops. Ooh, lots of little stuff in here. This is a good one. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of cameras. This Action Tech router used to be like 80 bucks, but this was years ago. It's been so long since I found one. I'm gonna assume it's probably not worth anything, but I'll throw it in the eBay pile just to be safe. We've got a Casio. This is just a basic calculator, not worth anything. Uh, we've got, this is a Sharp scientific calculator. I'm not too familiar with this one. I'm gonna put it in the eBay pile, but I'm going to assume it's not worth anything. What is this? This feels like a camera. Let's actually get, let me move these docking stations out of the way. Let's get this, all these camera cases out because it looks like there are gonna be a bunch of cameras in here and we'll go through those separately. Stack these up. That's not a camera case. I think that's it. Oh, oh, here's another one. All right, so we've got this Colby portable radio. Uh, it seems unique. I bet this is probably worth something. So I'm going to set it aside. We'll look it up later. Kobe is not a good brand, but it looks like a fancy one. Uh, this is just a run of the mill, put your phone in it. Um, so a VR headset. I don't see a brand on it, but usually these are worthless. Make sure though, when you get these, look in there to see if there's a phone in it. And also, you know, look to see, is it the ones that your phone goes in or is it like, uh, you know, one that has its own screen? If it's got its own screen, it can be, it can have some value. What is this? Um, a very fancy stapler. I bet this is usually these big electric staplers are pricey. Hopefully there's a power cord in here for it. Uh, we've got a Google, no, an Amazon Alexa. Not super valuable, probably get 20 bucks for it. We've got a Logitech mouse. This looks like a pretty valuable one. Uh, it looks like it's Bluetooth, so no receiver needed. It looks like it's rechargeable, but there's no cradle for it. Yeah, no cradle for it. Um, so I don't know what I'll do with it because I don't really, oh, there's a Bluetooth symbol. I don't really have any way to charge this to test it. Um, we'll figure something out. Uh, what do we have here? This looks really fancy. What is it? Starlink. A Starlink router. I've never seen anything like this before. I bet this is expensive. Put that in the eBay pile. Uh, we've got an Apple mouse. Not super valuable. A couple bucks. Worth listing on eBay. We've got uh, Door County Broadband router. Probably not worth anything, but I'll put it in the eBay pile. We'll look it up later. We've got some cables here for a Wii. Uh, in fact, all of the cables for a Wii, the sensor bar, the power cable, and the um, AV cable. Always worth hanging on to those. I've got a whole bunch of Wiis that'll help complete them. Uh, this is, oh, this is like a Fitbit uh, with a nice metal band here. Uh, and we've got another one here. Usually I just sell these on whatnot to get rid of them because I don't want to mess around with testing them, but this feels pretty fancy. 
I will do some research. Uh, then we've got a microphone. Oh, the top fell off. Um, usually these aren't really worth anything and it looks broken. So I'm just going to pass on that. We've got a charger for an Ego for those batteries. This probably works um, with what looks to be a smashed spider on it. Gross. All right, so that will go on eBay. Uh, this is a Power A Xbox 360 controller. Um, you know, off brand, not really worth anything, but we can pair it with the system. We've got another um, USB, I completely forgot, the breakaway cable. Um, it's got the same cord as the Power A, so it probably goes with that. And lastly, one side of a switch controller. Probably worth something on eBay. All right, now the cameras. I'm excited for these. Cameras do so well. I have so much fun selling cameras, and I've been selling a lot of them lately. This one I'm not certain is a camera, though. This is a uh, PDA. Sometimes these can be okay money, but usually they are not. All right, so we've got, this is probably a camcorder. And this is probably a camcorder. And this, I would assume is also probably a camcorder and these are probably point and shoots. So let's do this one first. This one is a Sony, so good brand. Uh, what type of battery does that take? A G-Type. I've got batteries for this. There's no battery or charger, but I do have batteries and chargers. I bet this is 150 bucks. Um, I know. I know what you're thinking. Why would someone spend $150 on a digital camera when they have their phone? There are a lot of times where you don't want to use your phone, like a work environment where maybe you have a car dealership and you're taking pictures of cars um, to put on your website, you would have your employee use a camera. Why wouldn't they use a better camera? I don't know. But I was sold a few of these Sony's for 100 to 150 bucks within the past couple of weeks and they are older than this one and lower quality than this one. In fact, I sold a camera the other day that had a 1.8 megapixel sensor, meaning it was a worse camera than the original Moto Razr phone, the camera on that. And it sold for $22. Don't quote me on that price. It was in that ballpark range, but I don't remember the exact number. Um, yeah, they sell. Don't ask me why. Uh, so this, fantastic. All right, let's do the other little point and shoot here. It is not in that pocket. This one, well, here's our battery. It's a Kodak battery and a Kodak camera. We'll put the battery in it and see if it has a charge. Uh, let's see, take the lens cap off. It does not appear to have a charge. So I will need to find a charger for it. Like I said, I've got a whole bunch of chargers and sometimes these will just charge off a USB cable too. So, this is probably about a $35 camera or so. All right, now this one is the least exciting and this is probably the least likely to be a camera. We've got something in this little pocket here and it is huh, Germex. Let's throw that in the trash. We've got, this is a camera. It's another Kodak. This probably runs on double A's. Nope, it's another one that has a built-in or a rechargeable lithium battery. Do we have a charger? We have a charger. In fact, where's the one that I just sent back here? It might be the same battery. This, well, it fits on the charger. The terminals line up. So I'm going to assume we've probably got the same battery here. This is the uh, 5001, yeah, same battery. So I've got a charger now, so I can test both of them. Um, and then one of them I will just sell without the charger. Uh, like I said, today I just sold a camera uh, that was no battery, no charger. It was another one of these where it didn't have the battery or charger, but I was able to use the battery and charger from a different camera to test it. This one also probably about 35 bucks. 
So nothing super exciting, but I will take an easy $35 sale all day long. All right, I'm gonna save this one for last because it says Sony Handycam on it. This one is a Samsonite bag. Check the little pockets, I think that's it. And in it is, interesting, I don't think I've ever seen this before. Uh, I hate this rubberized plastic because it always gets sticky. Uh, but this is a Canon camcorder, so I'm sure it has some value. Uh, what kind of tape does this take? Um, it does not say on here. I'm going to guess it would have to be a mini DV. It's possible it's... There you go. Mini DV. Uh, people use these to record their... Um, or take their tapes and transfer them to a digital version. We've got, for some reason, a Sony battery. This doesn't take, so yeah, it's a different type of battery. Um, and no charging cable or anything. What does it charge on? I think I've got a Canon charger for this. They're for Canon video cameras. Whether or not it will work for this one, I'm not sure. Um, let's... No, no charge on here. No cut charge currently, but I bet this is 60 to 100 bucks. I may need to buy a charger for it. And the Sony Handycam bag. And in it is a Sony Handycam. But unfortunately, it is a DVD camera. These are much cheaper. I did just sell one of these for about 40 or 50 bucks. They're not as exciting as the... Um, as the tape ones, I honestly don't know why people buy these, but they do. The tape ones is to transfer their, their tapes. I was hoping, it's too small for an 8mm camera. I was hoping it would be a mini DV. I think Sony makes some of those. Um, but still worth listing. Probably get 40 bucks if it works. Oh boy. This one is heavy. And in it, we've got stuff. I am going to take... Oh, there, now you can kind of see me. I'm gonna take a peek in the other one just to make sure it's not full of VCRs because I want to save a decent one for last. Oh, wait, I got two left here. Never mind. All right. Well, you know what? All right, the next one is not full of VCRs, so we'll save this one for last. I know you can't see me, I'm thinking out loud. All right, so right on top here, we've got a Panasonic VCR. Uh, another model I've never seen, I'm going to assume it's probably not super valuable, but uh, you know, $25 special. What else do we have in here? We've got, this is an Emerson boombox. It's in very rough shape. I'm sending this back. We've got this, seems to be some sort of grill, heritage grill. I will look this up, it's very old. Look at this cord. Maybe it has some value. If not, it will get sent back. I'm not going to try the auction with it. Ooh, look at this. A Bose sound link with the dock, the power cord. It's been a while since I've sold one of these. I need to raise you up a little bit. That way I can get it on camera. It's been a while since I've sold one of these. But I used to get 100 bucks for them. That one would be a good one for eBay. We've got... Uh, a Samsung flip phone, no value, but doesn't even turn on. I miss these. I miss answering the phone like that. You sound so cool. And when you're done talking, you just do that. These were the best, um, but not worth anything. So I'm sending that back. We've got, what is this? A Bluetooth speaker. It appears to be new in the box though. Maybe. I'm not sure. It comes in the box. Um, I think I will probably just put this in the warehouse sale. Get 10 bucks for it. It's an off-brand. It's not worth, really worth anything. We've got a one terabyte hard drive. This is, appears to be factory sealed. Should be a good eBay item there. We've got, what is this? Uh, this is an S-Video cord, right? So it looks like, yeah, S-Video. It's brand new, not worth anything. We've got 
Rocketfish four port USB hub. I'll put this in the sale. Someone pay a few bucks for that. Uh, we've got a Netum, never heard of that brand. Uh, battery or um, barcode scanner. These can be very expensive. I'm not holding my breath because the brand, I've never heard of it, but uh, we'll throw it in the eBay pile. My eBay cart is getting full. This, here we go, Canon Sure Shot with the box. Um, I'm assuming it's used. I highly doubt this thing is going to be new. Yep, definitely used. Is it the right camera? There you go, Canon Sure Shot 60 zoom. This will be between 30 and $50. These sell really well. If you find Olympus cameras, some of those can be like two to 300 bucks. These point and shoot film cameras. Um, now this one I said is 30 to 50. It's probably gonna be on the higher end because it's got the box. All right, what else do we got? This Emerson radio, setting that back. We don't want that. We've got a car stereo. This is for, uh, the barcode scan is going on. Uh, Chrysler, probably about a hundred bucks. I usually do well with these. Next, we've got Kodak camera. Um, there's some cosmetic damage there, but it doesn't seem like it's keeping that from being able to close. It just runs on double A's. Probably get about 25 bucks for this. Look at this, the VCR here, it's Emerson. It's got the remote. It's got whatever this is taped to it. Um, it's not part of the battery cover. I don't know what that is. Um, but with the remote, I bet this will be an easy 50 bucks on eBay. If it works. All right, and lastly, not lastly, hold on. We've got, this looks like a camera. And it is not worth anything. AGFA. Um, I'm guessing this is like a promo thing that probably some company gave away to their staff. We'll send that back. And lastly, Sony boombox. Um, again, it's not a super desirable one, but I bet this is probably 50 bucks plus shipping. So I was emptying some of the bigger stuff out of the eBay cart to make a little bit more space. And I decided to look this up. Heritage Grill number 730. It's going for 60 to 75 bucks on eBay. So that is a solid one. I'm sure it works. Um, unless there's a short in the cord, it seems very unlikely that it wouldn't work. All right, two boxes left. Oh boy. Oh. This one's really heavy. Holy crap. The other one, remember, I peeked in to make sure the last one isn't just going to be full of VCR. This one appears to be full of VCRs. Boy, this is heavy. Not even good stuff. Oh, uh, we've got a DVD player. We'll send that back. We've got another DVD player. We'll send that back. We've got another DVD player. We'll send that back. We've got another DVD player, we'll send that back. We've got another DVD player, we'll send that back. We've got Emerson DVD recorder for the VCR. We'll keep that. That'll be a good one. We've got uh, Technics equalizer. I'm just gonna go on a limb and say we're sending that back. We've got a JVC uh, VCR DVD combo. We'll keep that tested, see if it works. It's dirty, but a lot of the dirty, gross ones tend to work. And what in the world is this? A Bico. I'm just gonna move the camera. This thing is heavy. This was the weight in the box. This is that thing. Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't want to drop that. Don't you love the video effects here? I'm going to look this up now because I don't want to take this out of the box if it's not worth selling. All right. I-B-I-C-O. I-B-I-C-O. Uh, 400A. And it is no listings. No solds. 
So I am probably gonna say, this is like a foot pedal that goes with it. Let's try I, B, I, Master. See if anything comes up from that. Uh, oh, it's a binding machine. Um, some of them, they're like 60 bucks. This thing is gonna be way too heavy and way too much of a pain to ship. I could auction it, but that is gonna cost me a lot at 80 cents a pound. So I'm just gonna send it right back. This box with just that one item and it feels about as heavy as the other boxes. All right, so that's getting sent back. One box left. All right. What do we have here? Let me tilt you down so you can see. All right, this is Black Web, which is a Walmart brand, but it looks pretty cool. Um, I might hang on to that for myself. It's like a suitcase with a speaker. So let's set that aside. I'm undecided if I'm gonna send that back. Um, all right, so we've got a Nikon Cool Bit Cool Picks in the box. It's the S220. We've got the camera, we've got the charger. I'm assuming the battery's in it. This is probably going to be about a hundred bucks. Kodak Easy Share. Is this the camera or the dock? It is both. There we go. And it runs on, I think this is the same battery. 5,001, I'm pretty sure that's what I said before. So although there's no charger in here, I can test this with the battery, or the, with the charger from the other ones. Uh, again, probably gonna be 35 bucks. I'm thinking I will just sell the camera. I'm thinking the dock is probably not gonna be worth anything. So I will probably send back the dock. What is this? This is a VersaView 360 degree rotating case uh, for an iPad Pro. Uh, it's got a keyboard in it. I'm assuming, yeah, this is this is actually not even the same thing. This is Zag, and this is this is also Zag. So I'm gonna just put it in here, back in here, so it stays together. But it might be worth something, might not. It's got the keyboard. Did you see the keyboard? I don't know if I showed that. The keyboard, it actually feels pretty high quality. So I'm going to uh, hang on to it and see if it's worth anything on eBay. We've got a Philips uh, boombox. I'm gonna say probably not worth anything. It is a nicer one, but it's gonna be costly for me. Um, all right, we got a camera case here. This one has a JVC camcorder. Um, I think I just sold one of these for about 60 bucks. The big question is, do is there a power cord for it so I can test it? Uh, because these do have, I don't want to say a high fail rate. Most of them work, but high enough where I'm not comfortable selling it without testing it. And here we go. We've got a cord right here. So this will be an easy, if it works, 60 bucks. Uh, here's another one of those ThinkPad docks, and here's a Lenovo dock. Well, another ThinkPad one, but a little bit different. This is a Monoprice uh, USB extension repeater cable. My cost on this is probably like 30 or 40 cents. I'll put it in the sale. Someone will probably spend five bucks on it. All right, we've got another one. This is a USB extension cable. Same thing. I'm assuming this is brand new. Yeah, that's brand new. Um, we will, we'll, this is 32 feet long. A 32 foot long USB cable. I'm, okay, I'm curious now. I thought this was like the standard five or 10 foot that you usually see. Uh, $14.99 free shipping on eBay. Is it sold? No sold, so yeah, we'll throw that in the sale. All right, and this is a USB camera module. I don't know what that means. It's larger, it, it does appear to be new. This looks pretty fancy here. 
Um, ELP, holy crap, that's a lot of, let's just try ELP USB camera. ELP USB camera. And this looks very similar, listed for 70 bucks. Let's see if any have sold. Sold for 70 bucks. And I will box this up nicely later. But we've got two of them. So that's 140. This is my favorite box so far. All right, what else do we have? This is a Pentax film camera. Probably another you know, 30, 40 bucks. We've got another Kodak camera here. This one um, uses a different type of battery. This is a disposable. Not, uh, it says rechargeable, but you, you can put double A's in there to test it. So I should just throw that away. Probably about 35 bucks or so. We've got a Fujifilm camera. This one runs on double A's, so easy to test. Um, again, it doesn't have the lens cap, but probably about 35 bucks. Uh, we've got, oh, Olympus, a tough camera. It looks like it's missing a bezel here, um, but if I can get this open, there we go. So it has the battery. Maybe I have a charger for it, I'm not sure. This seems like a camera that's probably like 150 bucks. Um, it's waterproof, it's shockproof. How many megapixels? It doesn't say part of it's kind of rubbed off. Um, I bet this is a very expensive camera, but with that bezel missing, it's going to have to go for parts. It's possible that's just the design, but I don't think so. But still, probably, you want to get me like 50 bucks on that at least. We've got an Olympus. This is an older digital camera. It says all weather. Stylus 300 digital. It is a 3.2 megapixel. Uh, probably still gonna get 20 bucks for that. We've got, here we go, a Canon PowerShot Elf. Uh, this is the 350HS. I bet this is going to be 150 bucks. No battery or charger. Again, I may have batteries and chargers for these. I don't know what all I have. That's gonna be a really good one. Here's a Nikon Coolpix. This is very similar to the one that I just sold for a hundred bucks with no battery or charger. This one has the battery, no charger. And remember, a lot of these will charge on a USB cable too. No power on it right now. That's probably between 50 and a hundred bucks. Here's a slightly older Nikon Coolpix. This is probably more like a 50 to $70 camera. No battery or charger. Uh, this is a Sony. This is an older Sony. Um, that is double A batteries. I believe I've been selling this type of Sony for about 40 bucks. And lastly, a Nikon Coolpix. Uh, just takes double A batteries. This looks very similar to the ones that I've been selling for like $59.99 and they sell almost instantly. Um, so this should, came from a school district. This should go pretty well. I'm assuming it works. This came from a school district. This is all that's in the box, so I can get you back up here. This came from a school district. So what likely happened is they no longer use it at the high school or middle school or wherever it was used. So nobody is there that's gonna sell it. They can't just give it to somebody. So they just have to throw it in the recycle bin, the electronics recycle bin. So I can almost guarantee you this works. And it should be about 60 bucks. This ended up being the best box of them all, I think. So anyways, I should really be hydrating while doing this. This is a lot of talking. That was the e-waste palette. As you can see, I ended up so far hanging on to a lot more than I was expecting. Once I get through all of these, that might be a little different, but this was a really good one. I hope to get more like this. Uh, but anyways, that's what I got for this video. I'm exhausted. I need a break. Um, I will be listing a bunch of this stuff on eBay in a video, like I said, coming up, hopefully in the next week or two, undecided. Um, it just depends when I can sit down and film a five hour long video. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, best way to support the channel is go watch another video, like the video, comment, subscribe, things like that. Um, additionally, you can buy me a lemonade with the link below. You can buy Resale Rabbit merch with the link below. And I'm doing a whatnot stream today. Technically, it's tomorrow for me, but it's today for you because today was tomorrow yesterday. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, I will be doing a whatnot stream. It will be today if you're watching the, this video the day it goes up. It's going to be October 15th at 6 p.m. Central Time. This is probably going to be the last one that I do. Although... Somebody had a really good idea in the comments of the whatnot video that said I should just do it as like a monthly hangout for viewers and then sell a few things. So I may still do that undecided. But anyways, that is going to be today, tomorrow for me, today for you. Unless you're watching this after the day it was published, then you missed it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.